What is going on guys and welcome back to another video. So as you guys saw by the title, today we are traveling for an away game all the way down in Miami to play FC Miami City. So it should be a pretty fun trip and everything. So I'm going to take you guys along with me, show you guys everything. We're actually leaving the day before the game just to go ahead, get down there, everything. So we're going to be spending the night and then the game will actually be tomorrow. But I'll show you guys everything, show you guys the whole trip and all that good stuff. So you guys are ready to watch. Watch it, let's get to it. All right, just made it to the complex. We're leaving here around nine or so, and then we're just gonna get on the road and it's just gonna be like a straight trip there. So I think it's gonna be like around four and a half hours, I think, to get down there. So it's gonna be a long ride for sure. I'm not looking forward to having to sit that long, but it's gonna be really fun to hang out with all the guys and everything like that. So road trips are always fun to do. So ready to get on the road now. <laughs> hey yo Cedric, you got something you want to say to YouTube, bro? Hey guys, you got me to work hard. <laughs> Never give up. There you go, there you go. Finally made it to the hotel. This is actually the same hotel that we stayed at when we came to play Weston. So like all this area, we've already been here before. So that's pretty cool. So now we just got to chill out. Our academy actually has a game this afternoon down in Miami. So we're going to watch them play a little bit later on. What's going on guys, it is now officially game day. So we had breakfast this morning, we're gonna check out, then we'll have a team lunch. 
and then we're gonna have a lot of wasted time in between then and the game and then game time will be here so hopefully we'll get a good result today and hopefully we'll be able to bring all three points back home with us and then after the game we're actually driving straight back so it's going to be a really long day but hopefully a win will make it better so let's go ahead and hop into it Yeah, so I'm the job. 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 Yeah, so I'm Looking at his watch and getting ready to start the game. And Miami starts us off with the first kick of the game. Buffalo looking to press very early on. And it's going to be Oliveira now. Going to try and whip it in and hopefully get a goal early on as now we reach the 19th minute of the game. Oliveira with a good clipping ball back post. Eric Anime with a header. Gets it on frame, but it's going to be an easy save overall for the FC Miami keeper. It was a good ball. Eric Anime just wasn't able to get enough power on it to send it past the keeper. But now FC Miami looking to break again on the counterattack. Austin Lukasik now with some good hold-up defensive work. Good play from Austin Lukasik not to foul. And now he's going to step in and win the ball. And now he's going to play Tete Vaquez. Vaquez to San Miami looking to throw it in as we reach the 24th minute. Daniel Oliveira had time to play and Leo Paiva holds it. He's going to eventually find him. Leo Paiva as well keeps it on his foot. Gets tucked and the referee's going to point to the spot. Leo Paiva went to go hit it with his left foot and pulled it back. And the defender for Miami just got too much of his jersey and the referee's going to call that a penalty for the Buffalo. With a little bit more fire and even in the second half, look to even keep going forward. So Leo Paiva steps up to take it right at the 25th minute mark. Leo Paiva's gonna step up and he's going to blast it down the middle of the net. No keeper's gonna stop that one. Really good finish from Leo Paiva combined with them, the two substitutes. But the FC Miami defender doing well to read that and eventually he's gonna go out and play for a Buffalo throw in. It's gonna be Lukasic. And the referee's going to actually call it there after a minute of added time. Ibakas right up there. Looking like he might play it in as well. We'll see which one ends up taking. So there's a free kick in the 58th minute. It's going to be Oliveira going for goal. And it's going to be just a little too centrally. And the FC Miami City keeper is going to be able to catch that and hold on to it. Not a bad look from Daniel Oliveira. We know he's definitely capable of putting those in the corners. Looked like he was just maybe trying to bend it towards that back post. Fernando getting ready to take this. This looks like he's going to send it long Go over to Nick Butler. Nick Butler is able to take it, brings it down. Volley's it straight at the goalkeeper. Goalie's able to make the save. 
really good chance from Nick Butler there. Got in behind. As they look to send it long, trying to get something late in this game. So it's still 1-0 lead to the Buffalo. Looking like they want to add more, though. Leo Paiva driving at the defense. The Buffalo never wants to stop and take it easy. Nick to turn. Looks to line up a shot. Good shot. Don't fall. Finishes it at the back of the net. Really good play from Nick Butler to get the shot off. And the ball falls kindly to Dot Fall. And he's able just to put it in the back of the net. Leo Paiva, like I said, was ready for more. Did really well to get past his man, play it in to Nick Butler, who took a shot. And then Dot Fall again, the super sub, able to come on and get a goal after being substituted on in the second half. Chris DeLon finding space out here. Good play. Nick Butler with a good touch to find Chris DeLon. Butler looks to turn his man, doing well to keep it. It's going to come off the Miami defender last, and it's going to be a Buffalo corner kick, and the referee calls game there as the Buffalo is able to grind out a 2-0 win. You have to say that the substitutions that Coach Anderson put in the game really made a big difference. Buffalo three. One, two, three. Buffalo. All right, just made it back home. It's about 12.30 at night, so it's not too late. I thought we were going to be getting home like around 1 or 2, but by the time the game ended, we just came straight home. So overall, it wasn't too bad, but we ended up winning the game 2-0, as you guys saw by the highlights. It was kind of a hard-fought game. We definitely didn't play up to our best, but we made some substitutions, and the guys that came on did really well and everything. So it was good to get the result on the road away down at Miami, be able to bring home the three points. It's really tight up at the top between us and Florida Elite, so we have to win these last few games. We got two more games at home, and we really need to win both of those games so that way we can secure first place and all that stuff, and then from there look to advance through playoffs and everything like that. So everything's going really well as of now. I didn't get to play, I wasn't rostered for the game, but I did get to travel and everything with the team because I helped do the commentary as you guys heard. So it's always fun being able to go hang out with all the guys and everything like that. So I'm happy that I'm still able at least to go and hang out and be with everybody. I, I love it, it's so much fun. But now it's time for me to go ahead, get a quick shower and then head off to bed. I need to get a good night's sleep. We have training tomorrow afternoon. Thankfully we don't have it in the morning, but we do have it later on in the evening. So just gonna be chilling for the rest of tomorrow, get ready for practice. But as it is tonight, I'm ready to shower and I'm ready to get to bed because I'm exhausted. But that's going to go ahead, wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the away trip down to Miami. Hope you guys are enjoying all the USL2 content. So if you guys are, make sure you smash the like button. That's going to go ahead, wrap it up for this one. I'll catch you guys in the next video.